Hi, I'm Dr. Kim Duramo from drkimd.com. Physician, speaker, best-selling author of the Mind Body Toolkit and founder of the American Institute of Mind Body Medicine. Today I'm going to talk to you about relationship challenges. Relationship chaos and drama is one of the most detrimental things to our health and destructive things to everything going on in our lives. And I'm going to give you a mind-body prescription to transform relationship trauma drama in your body. Well, what is relationship trauma? It seems like it's something going on outside you. Like if that person would just change or if she would just stop this behavior or if everyone would just chill out, then I could be okay. Well, what's really happening? It's chaos going on inside your body. In fact, your relationships will always reflect the chaos, stress, and drama that's going on inside you. So what is stress and drama? Well, cortisol is our stress hormone that gets everything fired up in our body. And when we're elevated in a stress state, for more than a short period of time, it wrecks havoc on all of your cells. It's the number one reason people have trouble losing weight. And it's ultimately destructive to all of our relationships. So what if you could transform that stress response and it would actually have an impact in transforming your relationships? I'm going to show you a tool today that does exactly that. You can use this tool the better you get at it while you're doing anything, including arguing with your spouse, your child, your boss, or any drama that's going on in your relationship. And the first piece is to begin to pay attention to what's happening in your body. See, we tend to think that everything going on or going wrong in our relationship is happening out there. Well, bring your awareness and your attention back in here because in here is the only place that you can create transformation and really make a difference. And I'm gonna show you why this is gonna make a huge difference in your relationship experience. Bring your awareness inside your body. How do I feel when he is saying those words? How do I feel when my child is doing that behavior? What is happening in here? You're gonna be really surprised because you may become aware of fear you didn't know you have. You will become aware of anger before you act on it and do something that escalates the drama in your relationship. And you may begin to be aware of self-sabotaging behaviors. What you do in this stage, this is A, the aware piece. During A, you are going to begin to awaken and become aware of what's really going on that's driving these behaviors that propagate relationship drama. Because very likely you've been getting the same results over and over without being able to make a change. So start inside. A, bring your awareness inside your body to begin to be awakened to what's going on. Number two is breathe. So A, B. B is breathe. You're going to change your breathing. Every time you become aware of even thinking about your relationship drama. Maybe you're complaining to a friend, maybe you're one more time rehearsing over all the things you don't like about your partner or your situation. Well, instead, I want you to become aware of that and change your breathing. Breathe slow and deep all the way down to your belly. Slow your breathing down. This immediately changes your brain wave activity. So instead of being immersed in the drama, creating more and more drama over and over, you stop. You immediately come into a different frame of mind. And this relaxed frame of mind, and you want to do at least three deep breaths, so like get yourself chilled out. In this new frame of mind, you have access to different ideas, different awarenesses, different understandings and insights, and you may respond in a whole different way. Because what was this big chaotic thing will all of a sudden become very, very clear. Well, the third piece is C, A, B, C. You're going to choose from a space of love. So instead of the reactive choice that you'd otherwise be making, you are going to make a conscious choice. And I want you to start with this. What is the most loving behavior I can make? Now, when you do this ABC tool, you're going to begin treating yourself in a different way. When you're choosing your lunch, for example, what is the most loving choice 
I can make. You're going to embody love and make choices based on love for your own health and for the health of your relationships. Now, the most loving choice may very often be stillness. If your spouse, partner, or child, or anybody in your life is ranting and raving in a way that brings up a lot of drama for you, and you just breathe, giving them your attention, this can be one of the greatest gifts that person has ever received. And in that moment that you stay present, aware, you breathe slowly and deeply, be, and you simply choose to listen, you choose to just embody stillness and breathe, you can allow a massive transformation for that relationship that takes things to a whole new level. So I want to invite you to use this ABC tool, I call it the instant elevation technique and I've taught it for many different purposes, to embody that, embrace that in your relationship drama, your relationship challenges. Even if you're not in a relationship, you have your own little relationship drama channel going on about why you're not in a great relationship. Stop that, become aware of that. Start instead, slow your breathing. Stop that toxic, chaotic drama response and enter a choice of love. This is Dr. Kim Rama with this week's Mind Body Prescription. Make sure you're subscribed at drkimd.com. Sending you a ton of love. Share your comments and posts here. I'm here to support and serve you in any way I can. Have an amazing day.